Hello Taurus, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 22nd of January. The Sun and Venus, your ruler, have moved into a very visible part of your situation known as the Midheaven. This is all about work, it's about your worldly involvements, it's about responsibilities, obligations, property matters. And the Sun alongside Venus could give you a degree of extra fortune this week. It's almost as if people you encounter, especially those in a position of influence, can be drawn by your natural magnetism and personality power. But there's also another combination this week between uh, Mercury, the planet of communication, and Pluto, which could bring out that more uh, stubborn side of your nature. Now, it's usually the case that you can be very placid until really pushed, but there may be something that you feel you do need to stand your ground around. And the combination between Mercury and Pluto could see you uh, showing a great deal of conviction, especially if it's a point of principle. But what you don't want to do is be so strident about this that it actually puts off someone who can be uh, influential to your future. So it's a mixture of charm at the same time being very serious about what you want to say. Now, uh, the planet Jupiter, the planet of fortune in your sector of relating, continues to forge a great link with Pluto through to the end of this month, and therefore is also linking into Mercury as well. So when it comes to commerce, or connections with people, partnerships, that bring some kind of knowledge into your world. So for example, if you go to see a lawyer, an accountant, or a other kind of advice giver could be in a, in a more informal sense, like a friend who's a bit of a wise old owl. All these people can be very good for you this week. Now, as this week draws to a close, Mars is going to be moving out of your sector of relating, where it's been for six weeks, and giving you a lot more punchiness when it comes to your prospects for 2018. They now get seriously sensual, so if there is someone you're involved with and you really like them, you may want to get much more intimate, and the level of sensuality can certainly improve. In a more practical context, however, Mars moving into the 8th house is very much about longer-term finances, it's about investments and business ideas, and you could find yourself extraordinarily motivated around these over the next six weeks. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www dot horoscope hyphen ace dot com. Thanks and goodbye.